before the first electric pickup truck has even rolled off the assembly line, the Lordstown Motors Company is being sued for allegedly not paying its bills. But officials with Lordstown Motors say they've done nothing wrong. First News anchor Stan Boney has that story brand new tonight at 6. The lawsuit was filed October 30th in Trumbull County Common Police Court by an Ann Arbor company called DTE Lordstown. DTE claims the Lordstown Motors owes it $2.5 million for work done at the plant earlier this year, along with a fee when the contract was terminated. But in a statement this afternoon, officials with Lordstown Motors claim they have paid DTE what it owes and now has hired a new company to work with them. According to the lawsuit, DTE and Lordstown Motors signed a contract in February. The lawsuit states that Lordstown Motors did not have the necessary personnel, experience, and expertise to operate the project site, a central utility complex, and a wastewater treatment plant. DTE Lordstown claims it does have what is necessary to do that work. According to the lawsuit, Lordstown Motors is not disputing that it owes the company money, and at one point even stated that it apologized for passing its, quote, cash flow pain on to DTE. On June 1st, DTE terminated its agreement with Lordstown Motors, effective August the 14th. Documents submitted to the court show DTE is still owed $190,000 for the actual work done and $2.3 million in what is called a termination fee. Officials with Lordstown Motors, however, claim since they believe that they have made DTE whole, it is not entitled to the termination fee and will defend the matter in court. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.